Kid is the latest ball of yarn twirling legendary feline brawler. He has attachment issues, but he's not above scratching you to death. Stick around till the end since there are a lot of mechanics to talk about with Kit, along with his amazing cosmetics and relatable voice lines. Welcome to Kit Explained. Was this ever fun? Kit is a superstar and is a product of Startoon Studios. He has a lot of fans who constantly harass him for autographs. He's basically everything that Miko wanted to be. Kit is going to be available as an early access offer one week before the Star Tune season starts and will be swiping his way into Brawl Stars as a regular release when the Star Tune season starts. Kit is a legendary support brawler boasting 6,000 health, but considering the fact that he actually starts off as a melee brawler, 6,000 health is actually not that much. He does, however, move around the map at a very fast pace so he should outspeed the majority of the brawlers in Brawl Stars. Kit's main attack is called Claws. He slashes at his enemies, dealing about 1600 damage per enemy. The attack range of Claws though is very short, at about only 3 tiles of radius, but it can attack multiple enemies. Kit's reload speed though is very fast, as it clocks in at about 0.5 seconds, which is par for the course for some of these melee brawlers. Just a reminder that we are very close to 7000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if you guys could get me there this week now let's talk about kit super one of the biggest issues with kit is that his attack range is very short but his super carry me remedies that well like daryl edgar and chuck kit also has the trait which allows him to reload his super just by waiting alternatively five attacks will get you to that super as well. With his super, Kit can leap at allies and cling to their backs. While there, he heals them up for about 600 HP per tick. That's a lot of healing. While in this mode, he's invulnerable. And in order to get him off, you either need to kill the host, wait for Kit to hop off on his own in 10 seconds, or if the kid decides to get off the brawler with its super. Note that he automatically gets his super back when he hops on his ally, and if you happen to hop off your teammate, you lose that super charge. If they let you off, then you can just hop back on again. He can also assist brawlers who are carrying him by his new main attack called Yarn Balls. When attacking now, Kid throws balls of yarns at enemies, dealing 4000 damage if they happen to land. While that's a huge amount of damage, his reload rate is criminally low at about 2 seconds. But that's not all, Kid can also jump onto enemies. When he lands on the target, he deals 1600 damage initially and then does about 500 damage over 2 ticks. He also stuns enemies while he's on their back, but he can't move either, and he doesn't automatically get back his super when landing on the enemy. This opens up the target to a team kill scenario, but there are a lot of other scenarios to talk about. When Kit is being carried by another brawler, and Willow hexes that brawler that's carrying them, Kit can still attack the Willow! Which is hilarious to me, but I guess it does make sense since the target of the Hex isn't Kit at all. When a Cordelius uses a super on a brawler carrying Kit, only that brawler goes to the realm, and Kit stays behind in the overworld. Another one that I found that was curious is that if the brawler carrying Kit gets cocooned by Charlie, then Kit falls off once more. And since the cocoon brawler loses their gems, it's now up to Kit to collect the gems and keep them safe. Stuns work differently though, as when the brawler carrying Kit gets stunned, our favorite feline companion also gets stunned. I guess you can't win them all. Kit has two interesting gadgets. His first one is called Cardboard Box. When using it, our furry friend becomes invisible by hiding inside a box for 5 seconds. If he stays still, that also allows him to charge his super twice as fast. Enemies can't see where Kit is when he's in the cardboard box, but your allies certainly can. This will allow Kit to sneak up to enemies and close that gap very much like a Leon, but the difference in this scenario is that Kit can use this gadget four times and on command. Kit's second gadget is something that I love to eat. It is called Cheeseburger. So how it works is if Kit is currently being carried, he can heal himself and the brawler that he's attached to for 40%. That's going to allow some of the tankier brawlers a lot more leeway in terms of creating control by aggression. Now, let's talk about Kit's star powers. When gaining a power cube, Kit activates his power hungry star power. He gains two times the power from each power cube 
so he'll be able to ramp up really fast in showdown. It is interesting that his star power only works in showdown or in modifiers with power cubes. So I'll be honest, I'm not a showdown main, so I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but the fact that Kit can get his super automatically and the fact that his power is gonna ramp up so fast in showdown, I think he's gonna be a threat in any showdown lobby, but even more so in duo showdown. Kit's second star power is overly attached, and with this, Kit can latch himself onto allies for an additional 5 seconds, for a grand total of 15 seconds. This will allow Kit to be a bigger support presence on his team. He will be able to heal allies for much longer and do out even more damage with his yarn balls, which is already insane. As you gain more experience with Kit and his skills, you'll gain mastery over him and you'll be rewarded with coins, power points, credits, special items, and a unique player icon. You can even earn the best title in the game, Meow. Kit has four skins coming to Brawl Stars, but you only get access to one on release day. Billy the Kid is a 29 gem skin coming out with the Star Toon season. He's inspired by community fan art when Kit was teased all those years ago. As a 29 gem skin, he will only have a custom model and texture, and there's no change to his hit attack animations, so it's very similar to the base model in that regard. He does look pretty cool though. When the Dragon Pit season comes around, however, we will get the majority of Kit's skins, but that's only if you have the Brawl Pass and the Brawl Pass Plus. With the Brawl Pass, you'll be able to unlock Kit Boxer at tier 50. And with the Brawl Pass Plus, you'll be able to unlock Kit Boxer color variation. You get the Kit Boxer Dark Paw at tier 46 and the Kit Boxer Gold Paw at tier 48. All of these skins are inspired by the Chinese New Year, so expect a lot of Chinese influences in the aesthetics for these skins. Kit Boxer skins throw a traditional Chinese bell instead of a ball of yarn when using their second main attack. Their regular attack is also slightly modified, and it is now a slightly darker hue of blue instead of a lighter blue. When the kitboxers use their super, the effect of the cartoony fight scenes that ensue is a bit chromatic-y as a reference to the chromatic rarity, but unfortunately it is chroma no more baby. You also get a special pin for each of the skins and for buying the brawl pass you even get a special player icon. So if you're thinking about copying these skins by buying the brawl pass or the brawl pass plus, remember to use code pen in the brawl stars shop. Overall I feel that kit is a very unique brawl with a slew of attacks that can fit multiple scenarios. He feels very flexible and all his skills and abilities work well with one another. Probably the best designed brawler that I've seen in recent times in Brawl Stars. With his cardboard box gadget, he can sneak up to enemies on command and deal a ton of damage or just use it to charge his super as well. With his super, if you want to play aggressively, Kit is an amazing assassin option to take out enemy brawlers under 2100 HP. In modes like gem grab or bounty, where pivotal kills are important, Kit can attack enemies and stun them for a second, which would allow teammates to mount an assault which can change the flow of the game. If you use your super on enemies that can pack a wallop in close quarters, those nine lives wouldn't feel like they're all that much at all, as Kit will die quite easily if you underestimate opponents. In a support role, however, Kit is invaluable in a lot of different settings. While he's on his allies, he can continuously heal them for 600 health per tick for 10 seconds or as long as the ally doesn't die. And if you're equipping overly attached star power, that extends to 15 seconds of cuddling. Also, if you choose not to go with the cardboard box gadget, Cheeseburger will allow Kit to heal his allies even more and provide even more survivability. Honestly, if you want to ensure that you don't get wrecked by a Kit, your team needs to run bros like Cordelius and Charlie as they can take Kit out of their teammates back. But the issue here is that Kit still has a full super when he's been taken off his allies back, so he can just hop onto another teammate's back. I honestly feel that he'll be super strong till there are some changes to the fact that he automatically gets his super back when jumping onto allies. Till that's done, expect Kit to be run on a multitude of mats with brawlers like Fang or Edgar which are already broken to whom he can add even more support and survivability. If you like this video and the explanation consider subscribing. Now I'll leave you with all of Kit's pins and his V-Latin voice lines. <coughs>
<laughs> what a catastrophe. Catastrophic. Gonna start running out of lives. Ah, finally some rest. Was this ever fun? Back to the internet. Uh, gotta go lick myself. Now it's personal. But I'm a cat. Meow. <sighs> Me how? You aren't kitten around, are you? Claws are out. Free facelift. Crying cat face. Mark my claws. You'll remember this moment. Now it's my turn. <coughs> Perfect. You are gonna cry, aren't you? Cat's got your tongue. Yes, I have. You've got a face for failure. Smartphones, stupid people. Feline good. Making everyone else look good. Well done. You aimed low and managed to miss the mark. Have waited all my nine lives for this moment. I'm a cat. Of course I win. Live, love, laugh, and lick. Something smells fishy here, and I love it. Of course, I'm possum. Thrilled to be here, really. Wow, I'm a cat. Try to get over it. Meow! Sorry, got caught up in the moment. Cat's out of the bag. Don't start believing. Uh, wh where, where did that small red dot go? Oh, did I smell tuna? Come on, let's get physical. Physical! Has it really come to this? Feline frenzy! Pounce, flounce, and bounce! Friends forever! You are stuck with me, meow! Claws of love! See you guys next time. And remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.